Hi, I am Andrea Dalia Blaga and I will present a study analyzing the effect of thermal visual representation on user grasping interaction in virtual reality. This is joint work with Maite Frutos Pascual, Chris Creed and Ian Williams and was conducted at DMT Lab at Birmingham City University. During this presentation, I will go over grasping in VR and why it is needed along with what influences grasping in real environments. Further, I am presenting current work in providing thermal haptic feedback in VR, as well as the alternative of using visual cues to induce haptic sensations. I will be presenting our study along with results and discussion, and I will conclude by presenting the general findings of this study. Immersive technologies are rapidly emerging, with virtual and mixed reality applications changing the way people interact with the digital world. Previous approaches enabling virtual object manipulation have involved detecting and tracking gestures made by human hands to trigger interaction. However, when realistic interactions are required, such as in training and simulations, gestures can be limited and a more natural interaction is required. Therefore, to achieve high levels of immersion, researchers have focused on a more natural approach to hand interaction known as grasping. However, grasping virtual objects is still a challenge, with grasp models being brought on assumptions only. So in order to develop seamless VR interactions, there is a need for understanding how users intuitively grasp virtual objects under different conditions and what influences this approach. Grasping real objects has been widely explored with the aim of understanding human hand usage. To achieve this, the essential influencing factors were explored, with these being object shape and size, weight, texture and temperature. Moreover, it has been shown that visual cues for temperature influence the grasping approach and performance, showing that when subjects are instructed to avoid the use of environmental constraints, one of their main strategies for successful grasping becomes obsolete and this leads to a significant change in grasping performance. However, since research shows that users interact with virtual objects differently than they interact with real objects, this knowledge cannot be directly applied to VR, showing the need for evaluating these influencing factors in virtual environments. Thermal haptic feedback has been used before to supplement immersive environments, with recent studies applying it in different configurations, such as thermal bracelets or directly onto the user's face. However, while multisensory feedback has proved to generate high levels of fidelity in VR, providing haptic feedback generally requires complex hardware while still being limited. As an alternative, researchers rely on the concept of kinesthetic visual capture to efficiently deceive user experience through visual cues in the environment. For example, visual cues such as sky, sun, shadows have been used to suggest climate and thermal impressions in VR. Moreover, perceivable tracking offsets of the virtual hand were used to induce weight, nudging the user to lift the arm higher to perceive some form of additional exertion. Another example is using visual cues to induce the sensation of wind resistance, where the majority of participants reported feeling a force that was pushing their hands. So while the influence of interaction fidelity and rendering quality on perceived users' experience have been largely explored in VR, differences in interaction choices triggered by these rendering cues have not yet been explored. To address this, we present a study analyzing the effect of three thermal visual cues, four contextual information conditions and two hand representations on 50 participants approach to grasp and move a virtual mug. So we created a virtual environment that showed a desk with its surface aligned to a sitting position. A virtual mug was placed at the center of the table, changing its content and texture for each condition. The thermal conditions we design are cold condition, which showed a mug containing a set of ice cubes inside a clear blue liquid, hot condition, which showed a mug containing a brown liquid simulating coffee with steam coming from the top of the mug, and empty condition, which showed an empty mug with no content inside. To further support the thermal cues, we explored four contextual conditions. Basic, which presents a simple yellow mug, Content label, which presents a mug with a label attached to it, informing about the contents inside. Glass, which presents a see-through mug in a transparent texture. And context objects, which presents the basic mug accompanied by other contextual objects to support the thermal representation. 
Moreover, previous studies show that the visual representation of the avatar influences ownership illusion as well as user performance. Therefore, we explored two visual representations of the hand used for interaction, abstract and human, to understand if the visual representation of the hand has an effect on grasping approach in VR. So for each thermal condition, empty, cold and hot, we represented four contextual conditions. As shown in this figure, basic condition presents the marks, with the only visual difference between them being the thermal cues. Label condition presents each thermal representation of the mug with a label attached to it. Glass condition allows the user to see the content of the mug through the mug itself, mimicking a glass texture. And context objects condition presents the basic mug and accompanying objects such as empty bucket for empty condition, ice bucket for cold condition, and coffee espresso machine for the hot condition. These 12 conditions were replicated for each hand representation, resulting a total of 24 tasks to be performed during the user study. For building this environment, we used an Oculus Rift DK2 with the Leap Motion hand tracking device and a Logitech webcam mounted on the front of it to track and record participants' hand at all times. The system was developed in Unity using C Sharp and the Leap Motion SDK. Further, we recruited 50 right-handed participants with normal visual acuity to perform the user study, where each of them performed 24 tasks in total. Participants were instructed to grasp the virtual mug in a way it felt most intuitive to them and move it from the origin location to a target location situated on the left of the original object and displayed as a 3D semi-transparent virtual mug in a different color. More details regarding the user experiment protocol can be found in the paper. So, to understand the effect of thermal visual representation on grasping interaction, we evaluate the following metrics. Grasp location, which was defined as the part of the object that lies between the fingers when grasped and was previously used when analyzing and classifying grasps for real objects. So, for each way an object is manipulated, there might be different proportions of the object relevant for the actual grasp. For the mug object, we define three grasp locations as shown in the figure, body, top and handle. And for this experiment, each grasp instance was manually labeled and assigned a grasp location during the analysis process. Further, we investigated grasp aperture, which is defined as the distance between the thumb and the forefinger and was previously used in the literature when grasping virtual objects to measure how accurately users estimate the size of the object. So we calculated grasp aperture using X, Y and Z positions of the index fingertip and the thumb tip recorded during the user study. We also investigated grasp type following the human grasp taxonomy to label the grasp instances recording during the experiment. This taxonomy divides grasp types in three main categories. Power, which are linked to stability and security and distinguished by large areas of contact between the hand and the object. Precision, which are commonly defined by the object being held between the fingertips, allowing an increased level of manipulation. And intermediate, which present elements of power and precision roughly in the same proportion, enabling a finer representation of the grasp types. We statistically analyzed the data and found it to be not normally distributed. Further, we tested for significance between conditions and the metrics described before, using a non-parametric Friedman test, and reported 95% confidence intervals and pairwise effect sizes. So the proposed hypotheses are as follows. The thermal visual cues of the object have an effect on the grasp metrics, and the visual representations of the hand have an effect on the grasp metrics. To understand the effect of thermal visual cues on grasping interaction, we present a comprehensive analysis of metrics differences between visual thermal cues for all environmental conditions and each hand condition. Concerning grasp location, we identified that for hot and cold conditions, participants predominantly used the handle to grasp the mug, while for the empty condition, grasp location varied between body, top and handle. This shows that visual representation of content inside the mug influenced user's choice of grasp location. Further, we investigated grasp aperture differences between conditions and found that participants grasped the virtual mug with a smaller grasp aperture in the hot condition compared to cold and empty. 
These instances were predominantly located around the handle of the virtual mug, showing that the size of grasp location had an influence on grasp aperture when interacting with virtual objects. This correlates to findings from grasping real objects research, where the aperture of the grasp is primarily influenced by the size of the grasp location. Next, we report on grasp types for each of the three grasp locations, and we identify that for body and top grasp locations, users predominantly chose power grasps, while for the handle, users' choice varied between power and precision. These findings illustrate a strong functional correlation between the shape of the grasp location and the manner in which it is generally grasped by the hand, which has also been shown in real object grasping. Looking at the effect of hand representations on grasping metrics, we found that when comparing between conditions, effect size was generally smaller for the abstract hand than for the human hand. However, there were no significant statistical differences between hand representations for grasp data. Yet, we identified that participants chose a power grasp when using the handle in 80% of the instances with the human hand and only 69% of the instances with the abstract hand, showing that users intuitively performed a grasp that could normally hold a heavy object more often with the human hand than with the abstract hand. A more detailed statistical analysis for visual thermal cues, environmental conditions and hand representations is presented in the paper. To conclude, during this study, we found that users predominantly grasped the handle for the hot and cold conditions, showing that visual thermal feedback had an influence on grasp location. We also identified that a smaller grasp aperture was used when grasping the handle of the mug, showing that grasp location influenced grasp aperture. This is consistent with real object grasping literature, showing that the characteristics of object grasp influence grasping approach in virtual reality. Finally, users presented a higher density of precision grasps in the handle area, showing that grasp location influenced grasp type and suggesting that the perceived temperature of an object had an effect on grasp type choice. These insights should be considered for interaction virtual object design in VR environments where the user needs to manipulate thermally variable objects. While future work could analyze other virtual objects or thermal cues, our findings present the first study into understanding the influence that visual cues have on user grasping in VR. Thank you for listening.